ngayong gabi ito, Lado, and the Long Earth. My name is Charlene Diparini Canoy, your Bini Bini Toledo 2019. And here with me is no other than Miss Angel Santos, our Miss Philippines Earth Water 2022. Hello, Toledo Cebu! We are now live at the Miss Philippines Earth fan page, our Facebook page, and YouTube channel, and... And you are watching the pre-event streaming of Miss Philippines Earth 2023. Are you all excited? I can see the crowd going wild right now. Hi, Angel. Welcome to Toledo. I guess it's your first time to be here in Toledo, right? Yes, Charlene. And I'm so excited and I feel all the warmth of the Cebuanos. And I'm really grateful to be here. And maraming maraming salamat po for welcoming Miss Philippines Earth 2023. Let's all shout together. Well, as a Toledana myself, I am so proud. Toledohanos are very proud to have you guys here. You know, it's actually our first time to be hosting a national pageant, and I can feel the overwhelming honor and pride of Toledohanos here tonight. Actually, we can hear, and I can't hear you anymore because they're all excited. And mind you guys, the tickets are still on sale. Before the program starts, our VIP is 1,800 pesos for reserved seating. For lower box? Lower box is in 600 pesos. It's free seating. Alright, so are you ready? Alright, once again. Oh my god, that is a deafening yeah, amount of energy. You can really feel the welcoming spirit of Toledo Hanas, am I right? You know, we're very proud of that. Yes, Charlene, and also, please do mind, guys, that the Miss Philippines Earth is going to be live or is going to be streamed on A2Z Channel 11 on April 30, 2023 at 10 a.m. So right. that will be tomorrow. Take note, guys, that will be aired tomorrow, 10 a.m. at A2Z Channel 11. But yeah. tonight, the main event starts moments from now. <laughs> All right, so... I think we have one person to interview first. Can you introduce them? Her, rather. Well, we will be interviewing Miss Cebu 2006 finalist and um, Toledo's Miss Toledo Independence, our very own Miss Marigold Levon Pasel. A round of applause, everyone. Hello, Miss Marigold. Are you excited? Okay, so. Mayong, mayong gabi sa tanan. Welcome to Toledo City, the joyful city in the Queen City of the South. So we are very happy and lucky that this is the first time that Toledo City is hosting the first uh, uh, first to host outside Manila the Miss Earth National Finals. So we're very excited already to see the beautiful ladies that th is vying for the crown. Of course, we're rooting also for our very own. Miss Athena Auxilio of Toledo City. Thank you so much, Miss Mary Gold. And also, what is your message to our representative tonight? My message for our representatives tonight is to just enjoy the stage. Okay, show what you are, why you are here, your cause of joining the Miss Earth. And of course, we are aiming to help save Mother Earth. Thank you. Yes, right. exactly. Enjoying the night and of course, making sure that we have this advocacy that is connected to our heart and that is saving Mother Earth. All right, thank you so much, Miss Marigold, for joining us. And again, our Miss Philippines Earth is going to be on a, on a telecast yes. tomorrow on April 30, 2023, 10 a.m. at A2C Channel 11 and also at Miss Philippines Earth Facebook page and YouTube channel. And don't forget, tickets are still available, okay? So for those who are still in their houses, come here now because you can really hear how exciting and how, you know, we can really feel the love and the excitement of all the people here tonight. So you're going to miss it if you're not going to be here. All right, Charlene, as also, I would like to introduce you to this very beautiful Earth woman. She is our Miss Earth 2019. And she's here with us tonight. 
Oh my God! So let us all welcome Miss Nelly. All right. Hello, Nelly. Hello again. <laughs> oh, okay. So, how is your travel going to Toledo? Um, it was a very long travel. <laughs> I woke up super early today, but I'm super excited to be here visiting another city in Cebu. I've been here before, but tonight is a special evening, so I'm really happy and excited to see who will be crowned tonight. You have your personal bets now. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I'm not going to say. <laughs> but guys, I think it's also best that we greet her a belated happy birthday. Let's thank greet you, her. <laughs> Belated happy birthday, Nellis. Thank and also, you. Charlene, you have a question for her, right? Well, I'm actually fangirling a little. <laughs> Since I'm someone who really is I mean, eyeing to join Miss Philippines Earth soon. So actually, you're kind of my idol and you judge Miss Cebu 2023. <laughs> so I'm very happy to see you very close. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I'm just, I just want to ask, like, what is something about Miss Earth that you think is the best thing of being a, a queen? Um, I would have to say that being Miss Earth is a great responsibility. It's not only winning because you're beautiful, it's winning because you have the power to connect with people and to actually have the conviction and be able to take actions in matters that are important for the environment and also ultimately for environmental and political justice. All right, thank you so much, Miss Nellis, for this. And also, now we are about to begin in a few moments. And mind you guys, I would like to remind each one of you to follow, share, and like the Miss Philippines Earth Facebook page. And this will be aired as well on April 30, 2023, once again on A2Z Channel 11 tomorrow. So the next one that we will interview is someone so special for Toledo Hanas, our very own joyful and active mayor of Toledo City, Mayor Joy Perales. Let's give a round of applause. Toledo City, give her support. Yay! <laughs> Hello, Miss M Mayor Joy. Very joyful talaga, your aura. All right. Hello, my gabi ka na tong tanan. And good evening. I'm inviting you all here in Toledo City to please watch the first ever national pageant nga gihild diri sa syudad sa Toledo. The joyful city of Toledo with a joyful people. Uh, Ari na mo, kay hapit na ta magsugod. Naintindihan mo yon. Konte. Okay. <laughs> so, mang gabi eh. Thank, thank you, you so much. Hope you enjoy, you. you'll enjoy the show. Thank you. Alright, thank you so much, Mayor Joy. Grabe. Si Mayor Joy, when I saw her, I instantly felt the joy and the love from her. Kaya naman ang daming tao sa Toledo. You would definitely feel that they are filled with love. True, All that right. is something that we are very proud. We are very joyful and very happy people. Again, tickets are still available in the venue. The VIP seats which are res reserved are an 1,800 and the upper box is in 350 and the lower box is in free seating is 800 pesos. So make sure to come here. You still have time. We're still very welcoming. We, we will welcome you with open seats. All right. Ian. Ako kanina pa ako kinakabahan para sa candidates kasi I remembered last year I was at that position pero I'm really, a, really, really excited kasi right now I'm gonna be, you know, an audience and I get to see how the girls are going to perform and I've watched the rehearsals. True. Actually, I just wanna ask like, how does it feel that you've been there, right? Like, facing a lot of crowd, you know, na experience mo na yan, na ikaw yung rumarampa. So how, how does it feel that you are on the other side right now, like you are watching the show? Well, it's actually a mixed emotion because um, I'm already saying goodbye to my crown. But then again, it is also a wonderful journey. And during the competition, grabe, dun ko naramdaman na when you compete for a beauty pageant, especially Miss Philippines Earth, you are here not just, you know, to perform, to give your best, but also to send a message. Para naman sa 
ating kalikasan. Yes, Miss Earth is not only producing beautiful women, but they are also producing purposeful women that is for the Earth. Alright, Charlene, I think we have another one who is weird. Who are we gonna interview? Okay. Can you introduce that person? Well, this is this person has a Tony Award, a Grammy Award winner from New York City, Mr. Our judge, actually, Mr. Jet Tolentino. All right, hello, Sir Jet. Thank you for gracing tonight's event. How hello. are you feeling? I can't believe I'm in Toledo City. Oh, wow. I gotta do this. Yeah, this is amazing. Thank you for having me. All right, Sir Jet, do you already have a bet for tonight? To be honest with you, I don't know who the candidates are. I just arrived in the Philippines yesterday. Oh, wow. So I, have, I don't know who the candidates are. I want to surprise myself. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for gracing this event. It's a po itong karangalan para sa Miss Philippines Earth that you are here tonight. And also, maghai naman po kayo sa mga tao sa Toledo. Yes, Toledo City. Oh, my goodness. This is a huge, huge venue. I can't believe it. Okay, once again, maraming maraming salamat po, Mr. Jet. He will be judging tonight's event, so better watch out who's gonna win. Thank you so much. Again, Charlie. Again, don't you forget that this uh, Miss Philippines Earth will be aired on Facebook and YouTube on April 30, 2023, 10 a.m., that's tomorrow, and A to Z Channel 11. But tonight, we will start moments later, so make sure that you are ready to support your band. Oh yeah, and actually, I would I would like to ask you, because I've heard that you're planning to join Miss Philippines Earth next year. Toledo people, to support you, si Charlene. Oh my God, wala pa pero may supporters na. What can you say? Tingin mo maga maga? Paano mo siya well, actually, I'm just eyeing, but, you know, hearing the support and the love of my fellow Toledohanans just makes me want to represent Toledo City more in a national pageant. So, so it's kind of like my dream. And most of all, na, out of all the pageants, national pageants, Miss Earth is something that is very connected to me, as my advocacy is about sustainable development as an aspiring mechanical engineer. So, we'll see. <laughs> oh, wow, fellow engineer! Pero, I would like to ask, First, the people who are here tonight, do you have any bets? <laughs> Parang mahina. Sino ang mga bet nyo? Pakisigaw ang mga pangalan! Ayan! Balayan! We have... Ilo, Ilo City! Cebu! Again, once again, our live stream is going to be live on the Men's Philippines. 
Philippines Earth Facebook page and YouTube channel. And there is going to be a telecast or it will be aired at A2Z Channel 11 tomorrow at 10 a.m. And again, don't forget that tickets are still available in the venue. Okay, so... Ako, ako nga po yung kinakabahan dito. Pero, alam mo, since I'm already here at Toledo City, can you teach me a few Cebuano words, Charlene? <laughs> well, that very common is, I love you, right? So, in Bisaya, it's, it is said as, Digugmatika. Eh? How do you say, Mahal ko kayo, Toledo Cebu? Gigugma ko ang Toledo. That means, I love Toledo. Gigugma ko ang Toledo! Ayan! <laughs> Alright, so, right now, we are waiting for the start of the event. And I know we are waiting for the excited. ladies to, get, to return on stage because we are going to see how witty, how lovely, and how intelligent these women are. And I can still remember that day, Nung nag-compete kami sa Coron Palawan, it was one of the most momentous events in my life. Yeah, so I'm actually curious as well, like, was that journey, like, kind of hard or it's just, you know, exciting? Like, what did you feel during the duration of the journey? Well, a roller coaster ride, actually. I'm really, I'm really overwhelmed when I went to Coron Palawan because at that time I was alone. I wasn't able to come with my family. Kasi pa transition palang tayo from the lockdowns. Mind you, the Miss Philippines Earth 2022 competition is a hybrid competition wherein nagsimula siya with our online events and then top 20. Yun lang ang nag compete ng live. But then, that is also a very nice experience kasi we were, we were able to be close to some of Candidates namin, kasi go candidates rather, kasi magkakasama kami sa isang hotel. Yeah, but it was quite challenging, ha? Like you know, competing online. <laughs> That's kind of you know. Actually, ang hirap magkakompete ng online, kasi hindi lahat may available resources na camera and everything. And also, you have to be very creative, kasi nga Miss Philippines Earth is always, always looking for that girl who has the creativity to stand out. Really? So, what did you do? Like, did you just film, like, film a lot? Like, photo shoots and then just submit it? I'm kind of curious about it. Like, how did you do it? <laughs> well, ako kasi, very kuripot. Ah, kapatid ko ang nag-video sa akin gamit ang cellphone. And mind you, I still got on the top 20. Kasi they, they still look at what I can offer rather than on the quality of the video that I provided. Yeah, now that I can see, or I, I get reminded, you are very worthy to become our Miss Philippines Earth Water. Like, water speaks so much about your personality. What do you think? Like, were you aiming for water or like during your, you know, competition? Well, during the competition, I really don't have in, in my mind what kind of crown will I get, what kind of elemental crown will I get. But then again, water, because I think it really speaks more about my personality, which is someone who is flowing, someone who is able to adapt to any kind of situation. And as Miss Philippines Earth Water, paalala lang po that water is really important to our environment. Nakakatulong yan sa ating food security, to our health, to our environment, of course. Dapat po malagaan ang tubig. No, now that I, I remembered, I have to thank, of course, the people behind my look tonight. Wow. <laughs> I'd also like to want to mention my makeup artist, Johanna Monte Carlo, and for my wardrobe, Miss Janine Tuazan, and my hair, Gisera Asenia. How about you? I would like to thank myself <laughs> for doing my hair and makeup and my gown by Raymart Ortiliano. Grabe all the way from Mindanao pa tong gown na to. Don't you forget that Miss Philippines Earth 2023 will be aired in April 30, 2023. That's tomorrow, 10 a.m. and ADC Channel 11. All right, in a few moments, we will be starting our program when we return. Nature 
is not a place to visit. But it is home.
This Philippines Earth is brought to you by Hella Shampoo, Miss Earth Foundation, and Kitco Travel and Tours. She stands tall and majestic, admired by all. Her outstretched arms give comfort and shelter to the downcast. Her resiliency is beyond question, rising above challenges and adversities. She is firm with her beliefs and conviction and takes pride of her roots and culture. She gives life. She gives joy. She is a creation of beauty. It's such a wonder how simply looking at a tree can unravel the mysteries of being a woman. Live from Toledo City Megadome in Toledo City, Cebu, Carousel Productions proudly presents Miss Philippines Earth 2023.
Gina, Kate, Ramos, Guaidanos, Pantucan, Clavo de Oro. Jemima, Joy, Zabala, Puerto Princesa City. Princess Fredonia Lazaga, San Jose City, Nueva Ecija. Chica, Saberica, Di Matata, San Pascual, Matangas. Shaina, Nazaria, Sila, Cavite. Athena, Claire, Auxilia, the joyful city of Toledo! Jamie, Angela, Karate, Armada, the Borat, the Quinzel, Daryl, Batuiga, Salazo, Tungawan, Zamboanga, Tibugay. Bernizuli, Silal, from the Asia's Latin city. Zambuanga! Welcome, Cup Amelia star and award-winning TV host, Robbie Domingo. Woo! Thank you so much. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Cup Amelia all over the earth. Toledo City, my be. Wow, what a crowd. Really great to have you with us here on this very festive night when one lifelong dream will be fulfilled. This is a festival like no other because we will be giving you face, figure, and a genuine love for our environment. My question is, are you ready? <laughs> Let's get this party on the road. This is Miss Philippines Earth 2023! Brought to you by Hella Shampoo and Toledo City Cebu. Nature is not a place to visit, but it is home. Marajo Carajo, welcome to Carascal! Carascal is a town blessed with abundant natural resources and beautiful sights that showcase nature at its best. From powdery white sand beaches to majestic springs nestled in our mountain. It's also home to culturally diverse peoples, including Manobos, Mamanwas, and Bobolanons. Each of us can give thanks to Mother Nature by incorporating the five R's into our mindsets and routines. We can rethink our choices, reduce our consumption and waste, reuse and recycle products and materials, and respect the environment that nurtures us. Here in Carascal, we've abided by these principles and strive to aid our environment. 
From regularly organizing activities like coastal cleanups to implementing policies that discourage the circulation of single-use plastic bags. For this year's Miss Earth theme, Me Loves 23, I've chosen a tree of special importance to us, the mangrove. Carascal is known for having one of the largest mangrove forests here in Surigao del Sur. Throughout the years, these mangroves have served our people and ecosystem well. Mangroves have always protected us, and so it is our duty to return to favor. That's why here in Carascal, through a government project called Carascal Cares, we made our conservation a priority and classified certain mangrove forests as protected areas. We've also been planting new mangrove trees that will grow to something to shelter our people and wildlife. United in mind and action, together we can preserve important trees like the mangrove for ourselves, our children, and all generations to come. I was born in a place between the life-giving waters of the Laguna Lake and the concrete jungle of the Bonifacio Global City. A city where the environment meets advancement and where lush gardens, skyscrapers, languages, and religions are woven into a colorful celebration of diverse cultures. I'm Seya de Jesus, and I welcome you to my provinciudad, Taguig City. Welcome to the global city of progress. My city is known to have the best of both words. Spaces to make you feel like you're in the countryside, and districts to make you feel like you can conquer the world. Originally being a fishing community, the gig saw an opportunity in our rivers and started making water lily crafts to champion material sustainability and give livelihood to Tagigenos. This shows that no matter the progress we make, we can still stay true to our roots. The gig offers an array of tourism opportunities, both environmental and technological. So that MPE 2023, and I am sure everyone will agree when I say that Cebu is a powerhouse in beauty pageants. Yes, of course. And just to prove to everyone tonight, joining me is not one, but two Cebuanas who gave pride to the Philippines in the world of pageantry. So without further ado, let's all give a warm Toledo City welcome to Miss Earth 2008, Carla Henry, and Miss Earth 2014, Jamie Harrell. Oh, wow, what a sight. Believe me when I say this, I am the luckiest guy in the world right now. You are the luckiest I guy. Am, I am, I am. You're pretty lucky right you're now. Pretty lucky, guys. <laughs> uh, before anything else, we'd love to greet everyone in the Megadome. And you know what? I'm going to teach you how to greet them. Okay. You will say, Maayong Gabi, Toledo City. Maayong Gabi, Toledo City. Oh, okay. Jamie? Yes, Maayong Gabi, Kaninyo Tanan. Excited kayo mo terino. So, yes. Thank you very much for having us tonight. It's not only good to be back here in Toledo, but at the same time to be on stage here for Miss Philippine Earth. That's true, and we were just talking a while ago. Totoo yung sinasabi nila, basta Cebuana guapa. Oo. Ay, hindi ako mag-ano dyan. Dili ko mulalis. Meaning, hindi ako makikipag-contra sa'yo. Ibig sabi totoo. I'm spitting out facts. Okay. And you know what? We really are proud because in Cebu, we are the queen of the South. Oh, okay. The queen of the And you know, Robbie, earlier you saw our delegates in their very colorful cultural attire representing the various regions of the country. And together with our reigning queen, Jenny Ramp, and the award-winning Toledo City Dance Company, setting a very festive vibe for tonight's grand event. What a festive opening, of course. And later in the show, we'll be announcing our top three winners of the best in cultural attire. But first, we have to take care of some serious business. Yeah, I mean, as much as we Woo. want to keep all the delegates on stage, we need to make way for the ladies who ace the preliminary judging and we'll move on to the competition. All right, you know what they say, the first cut is always the deepest. So right now, it's time to meet 
this year's top 15. Ladies. I have the list with me, Toledo City, are you ready? In random order, first to make it through is... Tobura and Cebu! Congratulations, you're part of our list. Ilo Ilo City, Maria Cristina Taliador. Another lucky lady joins them, and she's from the Filipino community of Melbourne, Australia. Ciao, really boring. Up next, we have Carrascal, Surigal del Sur, Cristel May Correos. She's lucky number seven in our list. Congratulations! Puerto Princesa City, Jemima Joyce Abala. Up next, we have San Jose City Princess Lazaga. This might be your night. Please step forward. The Polo City Casey Falgas Santos. Another lady joining them is from Balayan, Batangas, Mary Lazil Relevo. Congratulations, Mangan Turan, Pangasinan, Kerry Riley. Twelve down, three more to go, and you are part of our list. Tagig City, Seya de Jesus. Two slots remain, and one of them belongs to. Filipino community are from Milan, Italy, Queenie Sala. Last but not the least, I believe all of you will agree with me. Taking the top 15 spot is Toledo City. Ladies and gentlemen, your top 15 in this year's Miss Philippines Earth 2023. Congratulations. Now this has the makings of another competition that would go down the wire. It's a whole new ball game for these ladies and anything is possible from this point on. That's true.
You know, I think everybody here and everybody watching at home should activate their Beauty Queen radar because the first round of competition is around the corner. It is activated right now. The race for the crown is on. So don't skip a beat. We'll be right back. Your top 15. to you by Hannah Shampoo and Ever Belana Cosmetics. I'm Rowan Marie Snow, Miss Philippines Earth, Kelly Buckland. Mother Earth. Let's take a look at what kept these ladies busy before heading out to Toledo City. Miss Philippines Earth, 
season kicked off with a virtual meet and greet that gave pageant followers a first glimpse at this year's lovely Earth Advocates. The ladies then presented their chosen trees in line with this year's theme before taking the hot seat in the Intelligence and Environmental Awareness Preliminary Judging. Not a year goes by without the delegates taking part in the annual Earth Hour, spearheaded by Greenpeace Philippines and the Department of Environmental Services of Makati City. Leading the series of seminars was a crash course on financial literacy entitled Projecting the Future by Congressman Jose Manuel Alba. Second was this year's environmental session, where delegates were briefed about eco-concepts and urgent issues facing the Philippine environment today. Lastly, the beauty experts of Gandang Rique Reyes shared the latest trend in makeup to enhance and project one's good looks. The delegates then trooped to Tatalon, Quezon City for a meaningful celebration with My Birthday Foundation in Gawad, Kalinga. This was followed by a culturally enriching tour of the National Museum and Intramuros. With the finals night in sight, the ladies took time to learn a few tips on how to have a winning personality before facing the members of the press and pageant vloggers during the media presentation at Lime Resort, Manila. Educating the young minds has always been a priority in Miss Philippines Earth. Included in their itinerary were visits to Kamuning Elementary School, Sauyu High School, San Juan National High School, and Cavite Institute in Silang, Cavite. The delegates also took a moment to spend quality time with the kids of Nayanang Kabataan and Child House in Manila. Time came for the delegates to unleash their skills and creativity during the talent competition at Tikme Dime. Not long after, they faced another panel of experts at the Pogue Okada Manila in another round of preliminary judging highlighting beauty of face, fitness, and poise. The heat was on in Talakad, Bukidnon, where the delegates sizzled in the swimsuit competition. But they did not depart without participating in their environmental activities. Finally, it was time for a two-day eco-immersion in the province of Antique. Hosted by no less than environmental vanguards, Senate President Pro Tempore, Lauren Legarda and Congressman A.A. Legarda over a month of meaningful and relevant activities. That's the Miss Philippines Earth Experience. The Miss Philippines Earth Experience. Wow. Well, we just had a glimpse at the Miss Philippines Earth journey of our delegates and uh, would love to give special thanks to the good Senator Lauren Legarda and Kong A.A. Legarda for supporting Miss Philippines Earth's cause. Let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you so much. Now the adventure continues right here at the Toledo City Megadome in front of this jam-packed crowd and in the presence of our distinguished individuals who will be choosing this year's deserving winner. Ladies and gentlemen, our panel of judges. First up, our first judge is a concert producer, talent manager, and managing director of primetime events and talent management. We got Mr. Mario Colmenares. Good to have you, sir. We love the ranch, the best. <laughs> Up next, we got a multi-awarded international designer, a master of his craft, Cebu's pride, the master couturier, Mr. Harry Santiago. Thank you so much for being here. Right now, we got an international performer and one of the singing divas of Cebu. We got Miss Mabel Padillo. I love that smile. <laughs> Thank you. From Peerless Products Manufacturing Corporation, makers of Hana Shampoo, we got Marketing Director, Mr. Kaloy Bakani. Long time no see, boss. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we got a true beauty for a cause who clinched the Miss Earth crown with her wit and charm. We love your aura. We love you so much. We got Miss Earth 2019, Nellis Pimentel. Thank you for saying yes to us. Maraming salamat. Right now, we got a New York-based producer and film director who has produced, get this, 
18 shows on Broadway, an advocate for the environment, a TOIM and presidential awardee, and the first and only Filipino with three Tony Awards and a Grammy. We got one of my idols, Mr. Jet Tolentino. It's a pong karangalan, a privilege to have you here. Thank you. And last but not least, a trailblazer in the pageant industry, a beauty queen turned actress, turned TV producer, turned our mom. One of the founders of the Miss Earth and Miss Philippines Earth pageants. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Miss Lorraine Shook. We love you, mom. Thank you. And good luck to all of our judges. I know yours is not the easiest job in tonight's event. So best of luck. Now coming right up, the top 15 will captivate everyone in their sizzling swimsuit. That and more when we return. This is Miss Philippines Earth 2023. Brought to you by Hala Shampoo and e -Cooter Philippines. I am Athena Kate Ramos Cordados, Miss Philippines Earth, Puntukan, Davao de Oro. Come along with me as I take you to my beloved province and home, Pantukan. Pantukan is a unique and diverse hometown with rich cultural heritage and natural beauty of environment and people. We are known as the first class municipality of Davao de Oro because it is a home of mining industry which we call Bulawan. Natural scenic attractions including waterfalls, mountains, beaches and has agricultural products such as bananas, coconuts and corn. Like other places here in the Philippines, Pantukan also celebrates Pasaka Festival, which pays tribute of rich harvests. My municipality takes action in rethink, reduce, reuse, recycle, and respect. With these five R's, we involve in reducing the usage of single-use plastic, reusing used items, recycling for reformation, rethink of having proper waste segregation, and respecting Mother Nature as this is where our natural resources comes from. In line of the theme in Miss Philippines Earth, Me 23, I personally chose Banana Tree because they are like me, adaptable and resilient. Banana Tree can grow in a variety of environments and are able to withstand harsh conditions. Just like us, we are capable of overcoming challenges even if we feel like we've been faced setbacks, and by the end of the day, we can always find ways to grow and thrive for the best. I am Patricia Nicole Lagareyap, Miss Philippines Earth, Aurora, Zamboanga del Sur. My beloved hometown, Aurora, is located in a plateau of 1,000 feet above sea level. It is known as the Little Baguio of Zamboanga del Sur because of its cold temperature. It was once awarded as the cleanest and greenest municipality of the entire Zamboanga Peninsula. It is composed of vast agricultural land for crops, rice land, fish ponds, and pasture lands. Indeed, it depicts Aurora's slogan, Go clean, green, happy Aurora, the God's country. Welcome to Libertad Power and Energy Corporation, the first biomass plant in the entire Region 9 located here in our municipality. An environment-friendly plant categorized as carbon neutral. Let's take a look at the ongoing construction. This is a very huge project initiated by our local engineers headed by our very own municipal mayor. Biomass fuel is made from organic materials and is a renewable and sustainable source of energy. 
that can be used to generate electricity or other forms of power. Using bio-based feedstocks can improve rural industry resilience by generating revenue from waste streams, while also benefiting the environment by replacing fossil-based fuels and sequestering carbon. Okay, Carla, I have this wonderful question for you. Alright, okay. I'm ready. How has this swimsuit competition evolved over the years in beauty pageant? Okay, kailangan mag-ready ako, di ba? Okay. okay, go. Thank you very much for that wonderful question. As far as Miss Earth Philippines Earth is concerned, the pageant looks beyond a delegate's vital stats. It's more on how she keeps fit and how she leads a healthy lifestyle. Because before you can take care of the Earth, the people around you, you need to take care of yourself first. And I thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> And the crowd goes wild. Very well said, judges. Scores, please, for Miss Carla. Diba? And mo talaga. <laughs> Kaya kita idol na idol na. Before Carla wins the crown for the second time, <laughs> show some love to our top 15 in the fitness and form round. Here we go. Babanam ke walam, babanam ke walam. Baba nam ke walam, 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 Baba nam ke walam. Construction and building infrastructures has contributed 50% of our world's pollution. The world will never stop building, but we could start building green. I advocate for hashtag build green. Witnessing our home at a hurt locker state is disheartening, yet People perpetually take but never take action. And as your queen for the earth, my cause to uphold the planet is earth education. Together, let us all make the green change happen. United Environmental Workforce, which will aim to leave a legacy in the pageant history. With Union of the People Echo Power, humanity still has the chance. If people are the cause, then people are the solution. <laughs> warrior for wellness. I care in taking the lead for the protection of our environment for a better tomorrow. All 
Australia. A plague corrupts our earth, single-use plastics. We run, it follows. So let's transform the behaviours and attitudes of our youth so we can amplify unity and ingrain sustainability from the seedlings of our earth so that they, our change makers tomorrow, can save the world today. Plastic bags that are disregarded after being used once are not only a wasteful use of resources, but also a serious threat to marine life. And that is why we should reduce our dependence on single-use plastic bags. Puerto Princesa City! Caring for the next generation is like planting a seed of hope for a better tomorrow. By fostering early childhood environmental awareness, we're grooming little earth warriors committed to protecting our environment. <laughs> Together, let us do the five R's. Refuse, reduce, reuse, repurpose, and recycle. Because more than just a vision, this is our mission for Zero Waste Philippines. We need to balance the needs of the ecosystem, the farmer, and the community. And for that, sustainable agriculture is the key. is a practical and attainable way of life that can significantly reduce our carbon footprint and help us live more meaningful lives. And that is why we should strive to own less and do more. of this planet. Join me in my advocacy of creating a sustainable home. Let's use biogas so we can combat global warming together. Pangasinan! Reforestation, more specifically to plant Nara trees as they are in danger. I've collaborated with schools to join me in tree planting and I've also been encouraging the people in my village to come join me and clean the lake in my beautiful home. <laughs> Here for over five years, I learned that change will not come if we wait for a savior. We need to take actions ourselves. This is why I made it my mission to empower people into realizing that we are the ones we've been waiting for. The 
Filipino community, Milan, Italy. Working on overpopulation by empowering young women, embracing family planning, and together we can build a greener future. Because for me, building an ideal family is like building a sustainable environment. <laughs> on rebuilding nature and innovating for a green future. As we move to a more advanced and progressive Earth, we must learn to conserve, repair, and maintain the beauty of Mother Earth. Stage is on fire. Your top 15 in this year's Miss Philippines Earth 2023. Pretty ladies in a row wearing eye catching swimsuits exclusively by designer Ricky Abad. Beautiful, and I would also love to thank Game Over for setting the mood for this round of the competition LSS. LSS, talaga, But you know, Robbie, the game is far from over. These ladies, as the battle. You know, the battlegrounds are just underway because they have another round of competition to undergo. I know. Who's in and who's out? We have more exciting revelations. When we return, don't go away. Brought to you by Hala Shampoo and Toledo City Cebu. Most part of the Sol, a first class municipality in the province of Batangas with 96,000 beautiful balayanos and 48 barangays, our town is rich among the natural resources, sugar cane, coconuts, and corn. Most of our livelihood comes from farming, animal raising, and fishing. The fish that we get from our bay is turned into the production of our famous. Bagoong Balayan. The Balayan Bay is home to our well-protected and growing coral reefs. Yes, our coral reefs. Live coral covers of the municipality is located in the coastal areas with an approximate area of 1.5 kilometers long and 150 meters wide from the depths of 5 feet to 10 feet. A century for marine life these vibrant reefs have been cultivated and protected since the 90s with projects like coral reef expansion where the mineral placed 100 artificial corals in a pyramid form for the fish and marine life to blossom. Our town has so much in plan and has been doing a lot for our environment with projects like annual coastal cleanups, tree planting, waste upcycling, even adding more artificial coral reefs. Recently, our town was awarded by JG Summit Petrochemicals Group for planting 14,112 seedlings from June 2016 to May 2022 with a project of 1 million trees. Growing up in the land of Tasmanias, 
I have enjoyed the luxuries of nature despite being in an urbanized city. However, we are not exempted from the adverse effects of environmental problems. But as eco-allies, Desmilinias have already taken the steps of practicing what I call the ultimate five. Reduce, reuse, recycle, rethink, and respect. Here in Promenade de Das Marinas, which is the adaptation of an urban garden, the government have strictly issued the policy of CLEGO, which stands for Clean As You Go, as there will be no trash bins placed within the area. Learning the discipline of living a sustainable lifestyle through the reduction of waste and how to properly manage it, especially in public places, is crucial and mandatory. The city has also adapted into using solar energy panels under the Green Escuela Energy Sustainability Project wherein 14 public schools will operate using clean energy source. But it doesn't end there. This was also applied to new street lamps around. Welcome back to Miss Philippines Earth 2023. What a show we've seen our top 15 and I know everyone has their bets to our judges. You got the best seats in the house, but the hardest task of them all. And speaking of our judges, we'd love to acknowledge a self-made entrepreneur whose success story has been an inspiration for many, the founder and CEO of Makawas Beauty and Wellness OPC. We got Miss Anna Makawas. Thank you so much for being here, Miss Anna. All right. Now we all know that trees, or what trees are, we see them practically everywhere. But do we appreciate their value? Well, that's the reason why Miss Philippines Earth is putting the spotlight on our best weapon against climate change. Right now, let's listen to our delegates as they share interesting facts about their chosen trees. Watch this. By eating jackfruit, we increase demand to help farmers monetize the crop. This tree adapts to its environment. It can be planted in different kinds of soil. Raising public awareness and appreciation of the cotton tree's ecological and cultural values can also encourage conservation efforts. The feature of the tree due to its size represents strength, progress, and generosity like a caring mother. Mangroves are trees that play a major role in the environment through their support of coastal and marine ecosystems. Serving also as a natural habitat for other species. To name a few, birds, they use it as their nesting area. The native trees are the ones that help in the recovery and expansion of natural life habitats for endangered species of plants and animals. The Talisay tree is vital for its role in environmental conservation. It is often used in reforestation projects. A life source of the coast, these salt-tolerant plants, locally known as bakau, have great ecological importance. I love how sweet and delicious is its fruit. Not only that, it is also good for the heart. It serves as a habitat for nurturing marine and coastal species, supports livelihood and ecotourism, and has benefits from its leaves to its roots. Mahogany trees are vital. They give oxygen, store carbon, stabilize the soil, and give life to the world wildlife. This tree can be applied in fisheries in a sustainable way. Its distinct box-shaped fruit is dispersed by ocean currents. I chose Nara trees because it symbolizes strength, persistence, endurance, and durability, just like us Filipinos. It symbolizes regeneration, perseverance, and integrity of Marivelenos over and denotes the stability and the beauty of Marivelas. It's a eucalyptus tree. It is made up of a large genus of 600 species, making it one of the most adaptable trees in Australian flora. Moringa is a fast-growing tree. This is also called as a miracle tree. From its root to its tiny leaves can be used as food and medicine. It has five aspects. Biodiversity, cell conservation, carbon sequestration, water conservation, and sustainable agriculture. The Puerto Princesa Mother Tree is indeed a reminder of the beauty and wonder of the natural world. 
and has become a symbol of resilience and strength. We must learn to love and conserve the nether tree. Plant one if we can, even in our own backyards. We must join every effort to fight illegal logging. Every part of the tree has its own medicinal value. And mango tree is an excellent material for furniture. Pine is one of the forest's most healing trees for the body and mind. It is known that the simple act of touching a pine tree can help you find inner balance and peace of mind. Coconut tree highly contributes not only to the country's economic development, but also to our environmental advancement. Sunim bubble trees are important to the environment, not only because they beautify a space, but also they provide good food for pollinators. It is considered to be one of the Philippines' traditional medicine. It is known to be a remedy to diabetes and also other benefits to human health. Its woods can be used for sliced and rotary veneers, tables, and the likes. It can also be used in light construction like bankas and rafters. This species is listed as near threatened. Its humongous size and beauty is a fist to the eyes, and I am left with awe at its grandeur. I have chosen to plant a bamboo tree because it symbolizes what women of the earth must be as we advocate for environmental causes. Up. Hats off to this year's batch of delegates for promoting the importance of trees in addressing climate change. Now up next, from sizzling swimsuits, we'll be moving on to dazzling evening gowns as we make the second cut in tonight's competition. The excitement continues. Don't go away. Miss Philippines Earth 2023. We'll be right back. Brought to you by Hannah Shampoo and Toledo City Cebu. Good day, and Mabuhay, Philippines. I am Miss Philippines Earth, Melbourne, Australia, Sheree Lavori. From the most livable city, Melbourne. My home has the world's most harmonious and culturally diverse communities, with around 140 cultures represented. It is a booming metropolis that has the best of Australian arts, cuisine, and landscapes. From theatre shows that embark on rich creative journeys through visual storytelling, to an endless list of options to satisfy your tummy. And finally, it's enriching scenery that is known to make your jaw drop. So now, what is Melbourne actively doing to take an initiative to tackle climate change? Well, with the action to green our city, which is a four-year plan that includes 11 actions and four targets aiming to approve the quality and quantity of green roofs and vertical greening in the municipality to support amenity, livability, and adapt to climate change. Many communities are taking action to reduce also urban heat islands using five main strategies. Increasing tree and vegetative cover, installing green roofs, installing cool, mainly reflective roofs, and using cool pavements, either reflective or permeable, and also utilizing smart growth practices. And then rethinking our choices to acting more sustainably, reducing overconsumption and overpurchase of things that aren't necessary, and reusing things such as wearing thrifted outfits and tackling fast fashion, also recycling and properly segregating our waste in the proper bins, and finally respecting our place that we call home. Ito ang aking tahanan. I am a woman of the earth. I am 
Nicole Lajera, Miss Philippines Earth, California. California is home to many eco-friendly cities and tourist spots that are leading the way in sustainability. Cities like San Francisco have implemented bike-friendly infrastructure and encourage residents and tourists to choose sustainable transportation options. Tourist spots like Santa Monica have prioritized environmental initiatives like beach cleanups and plastic reduction. Even parks are becoming more sustainable with the implementation of renewable energy sources. California's emphasis on locally grown and organic produce has also led to an increase in farmers' markets and reduced carbon emissions from transportation. And with the growing use of electric buses, public transportation is becoming more eco-friendly and accessible. Even small changes like using reusable cups and utensils can make a big impact on the environment. Let's continue to support and promote eco-friendly tourism in California for a more sustainable future. Once again, I'm Nicola Hera and I am a woman of the earth. Growing up in an environment abundant in natural resources, the trees, the mountains, the seas, lakes and rivers that provide us everything we need to survive, I learned how to become grateful and in return, I want to give back. This deep, majestic, and breathtaking, that is Kasigura and Aurora. It is one of the two oldest municipalities in the province of Aurora, a home to culturally diverse people, blessed with cultural wonders that envisions becoming a model of sustainable, community-based tourism destination. And as a woman, not only of the earth, but for the earth, I want to preserve and protect my beloved paradise, Kisigura. For the past five years, I've been true and loyal to being an advocate for the promotion of sustainability and the protection of biodiversity. Our ecosystem, the green economy, marine life, wildlife, and as I get older, I have come to realize art, the one thing that binds my heart to every single thing that I do, is also a tool that I can actually use to make an influence. My advocacy art for a cause aims to engage people to advocate for the earth as well. With my advocacy, I developed a project I call Project Bintang where I do not only set an example on how to become a friend of the environment, but also be the teacher on how to save it. Nature is not a place to visit, but it is home. Marajal Karajal, welcome to Karaskal! Canascal is a town blessed with abundant natural resources and beautiful sights that showcase nature at its best. From powdery white sand beaches to majestic springs nestled in our mountain. It's also home to culturally diverse peoples including Manobos, Mamanuas, and Bogolanons. Each of us can give thanks to Mother Nature by incorporating the five R's into our mindsets and routines. We can rethink our choices, reduce our consumption and waste, reuse and recycle products and materials, and respect the environment that nurtures us. Here in Carascal, we've abided by these principles and strive to aid our environment. From regularly organizing activities like coastal cleanups to implementing policies that discourage the circulation of single-use plastic bags. For this year's Miss Earth theme, Me Loves 23, I've chosen a tree of special importance to us, the mangrove. Carascal is known for having one of the largest mangrove forests here in Surigao del Sur. Throughout the years, these mangroves have served our people and ecosystem well. Mangroves have always protected us, and so it is our duty to return to favor. That's why here in Carascal, 
through a government project called Carrascal Cares, we made our conservation a priority and classified certain mangrove forests as protected areas. We've also been planting new mangrove trees that will grow to someday to shelter our people and wildlife. United in mind and action, together we can preserve important trees like the mangroves for ourselves, our children, and all generations to come. I was born in a place between the life-giving waters of the Laguna Lake and the concrete jungle of the Bonifacio Global City. A city where the environment meets advancement and where lush gardens, skyscrapers, languages, and religions are woven into a colorful celebration of diverse cultures. I'm Seya de Jesus, and I welcome you to my provinciudad, Taguig City. Welcome to the Global City of Progress. My city is known to have the best of both words. Spaces to make you feel like you're in the countryside, and districts to make you feel like you can conquer the world. Originally being a fishing community, the gates saw an opportunity in our rivers and started making water lily crafts to champion material sustainability and give livelihood to Tagigenos. This shows that no matter the progress we make, we can still stay true to our roots. The gig offers an array of tourism opportunities, both environmental and technological, so that people of all ages can understand that there can always be a balance between nature and technology. We have adopted renewable solar energy and converted to using LED streetlights and electric vehicles, which led to a 32% decrease in CO2 emissions and a 62% decrease in greenhouse emissions. 70% of the office buildings we have are also green buildings, certified by LED and Verde. We love building green so much, we've been called the green haven of buildings. And our newest initiative, the Tagig Urban Gardens. Urban Gardens provides a solution to the threat of food insecurity to cities and lowers the emissions produced by importing produce from provinces. Fan fact, we have urban gardens led by the government and private organizations. This is Maria Cristina Isabel Nacionalis Salgador, your Miss Philippines Earth, Iloilo City. A noble city with a glorious past, with sweet and sincere ilong. Yep, you're still watching Miss Philippines Earth 2023, and we are now at the halfway mark of our competition. Yes, this is undoubtedly everyone's favorite portion, me included. Oh, I can see that, of course. I know. Glamorous, <laughs> I as always. Why, thank you, thank you, you, got, thank you. You got the bell outfit, you got the yes. beauty and the beast. No, Naman, you're not the beast. <laughs> Everyone is beautiful here, and this time, it's time to see the delegates, our beautiful delegates dolled up and original creations of some of the country's talented designers. Oh, we just can't wait to see this. Let's fly out of the stage and make way for our delegates in their glamorous evening gowns.
mga puno Iba't ibang hugis ng dahon At kung ito ay iyong pakikinggan Maririnig mo ang mga tinig Ibalik sa unang panahon Ibalik sa unang panahon What can we say? These ladies know how to rock the stage with their elegant presence. It's like we're in the Olympus of beauty right now. We got 15 goddesses. Right? And 16, I including you. you. Oh, I thank you. <laughs> the number one goddess. Oh, uh, definitely, kidding, definitely. <laughs> but you know what? I know they look like goddesses and they look so elegant. But behind that elegant stance are hearts beating fast because of what's about to happen. Well, we'll be narrowing down the competition to our top 10 delegates right now. As we call each of my finalists, the judges will be giving their scores based on beauty and voice. Yes, may we call on Mr. Maynard Bonowen, partner of SGV and Company, our official tabulator, to hand us the list of the top 10. Thank you so much. Long time no see, Are you all ready? All top right. 10. Let's ask the question once again. Are you all ready? Top 10! This is it, Toledo. Woo! In no particular order. First to make it to our top 10 is... Mga Tarempangasinan! Mary Riley. Taking the second spot, we have Filipino Community Milan, Italy! Queenie Salak! She could be our next queen. Please step forward. Siniloa Laguna, Iliana Marie Aduana. Up next, we have the Polog City, Casey Palacasantos. Halfway mark, as we mentioned, Filipino community, Melbourne, Australia, Shuri Livori. moment Toledo City Athena Auxilio Jesus. 
Two spots left, and you are part of our top 10. Puerto Princesa City, to my joy, Zabala. Congratulations to our top 10, and before anything else, would love to say thank you so much to our top 15 queens. Let's give our queens a big round of applause. Maraming maraming salamat to our delegates. Thank you. Yes, thank you and so much to our top Right 15. now, let's welcome back on the stage your top 10. This is it. One of these beautiful faces will be crowned Miss Philippines Earth 2023 tonight. Again, congratulations to our top 10. And the competition is just heating up. Yes, congratulations, ladies. And our search for the new Miss Philippines Earth is far from over. Yep. Because up next, these beautiful ladies will be speaking out their equally beautiful minds. Oh, that is something you definitely should not miss. So don't go anywhere. Miss Philippines Earth 2023 will be right back. Your top 10. Brought to you by Hannah Shampoo and Ever Belana Cosmetics. Imagine the earth without these screens and colorful things. Green veggies and fruits from the trees can help heal ourselves and the earth. Shifting our diet to a healthy one is a simple step to lessen carbon emissions and carbon footprint of each individual. We can also uplift our local farmers that support agriculture that will promote sustainable environment in which all biodiversity can live in harmony. Let's all start to have a healthy diet. More vegetables and more fruits on the table, the better we should start practicing to have a balanced diet for us to be healthy and for our earth to recover and be a better healthy place to live in. Let's fight global warming. Representing Miss Philippines Earth to Leda City, Cebu. As an eco warrior and a passionate advocate for sustainability, I am immensely proud of my city's efforts and their commitment towards achieving a greener and sustainable future. 
The mining industry in Toledo upholds responsible mining practices in accordance with government laws and regulations. More than just the largest copper producer in the Philippines, the company is committed to reforestation with over 2.65 million seedlings planted to this day. Their conservation efforts has created habits for flora and fauna, wherein it is home to 31 species of birds and bats and other animals who thrive in the biodiversity that has been protected throughout the responsible stewardship. Even non-renewable sources such as the coal power plants have implemented advanced technologies like their iconic coal dome and their tall chimneys to minimize their harmful impact on the environment. It is time to rethink our approach to the environment and embrace sustainable practices. Let us reduce our consumption, waste, and carbon footprints by making conscious choices in our daily lives. I stand to protect and cherish our environment for it is our most precious crown jewel. Just like the majestic Makupa fruit with its crown-like tip, I carry a crown not just on my head, but also in my heart, dedicated to preserving our planet for future generations as a proud woman of the earth. Well, it's no secret in the pageant world how eloquent Miss Philippines Earth winners are. And tonight, our top 10 delegates are poised to live up to that expectation in the next round of our competition. Now, each one will be picking a topic to expound on for 30 seconds. And once this warning chime sounds off... Ooh, magical. That means her time is up. Carla and Jamie are now with our top 10, so let's see how this would turn out. Ladies? Thank you very much, Robbie. And here beside me is our delegate from, now I'm going to try to pronounce this correctly, Mangatarem Pangsinan. All right, I got it. Well, Miss Mangatarem, I don't like to say choose your, oh, I'm going to say choose your destiny. Oh, humanity, sorry. I feel like living here, we all have humanity. And it's very important to keep pushing forward and to keep reaching our goals and to reach for success because that's how life goes and that's how you can live a happy life. Thank you. Now over to you, Jamie. Yes. All right, I have with me here our delegate of Milan, Italy, representing the Filipino community, right? All right, so pick a card and good luck. You got this. Hasha branches. Good evening, everyone. I think that having branches across our our Italy is really important as we have to expand our culture. And as your next Philippines Earth, I wish I could share our, our culture, our Filipino culture to everyone around the world. Thank you. Back to you, Carla. All right, Miss Sinoloan, choose your hashtag destiny. Hashtag is safety. 
safety plays a very salient role in our lives. We have to always be secured, not only safe, but also in terms of water security, food security, because as Miss Philippines Earth, I know that I am a hardworking person and I can always incorporate this in order for us to achieve safety at all costs and protect Mother Earth the way she protects us all with all safety. Thank you. Hello, Depolog City. Please pick a card. Depolog City. You know what? I have no idea how to top that. <laughs> so here's my hashtag. What attribute of a tree best describes yourself and why? Take two. My hashtag is hashtag trunk. So Miss Philippines Earth's theme is Me Loves 2023. And the tree that I chose is the Talise tree. And the tree has the qualities that makes me feel like I, I'm back in my childhood. And this tree, I hope that in the future, the children of the future will be able to experience the same feeling I had as a child. So let's continue to protect our trees as one together. Thank you. Congratulations, Dipolo. You did good. Right, everyone? All right, up next, we have the Filipino community from Melbourne, Australia. All right, my lovely lady, please choose a hashtag destiny. So, my hashtag is hashtag roots. So actually, if you got to see the back of my dress, it actually is a replication of a tree. And I really wanted just to connect that to also my tree, the eucalyptus tree. And really, it's important that we understand the importance of our native trees in our countries. Because in the end, they provide the foundation and the support to flora and fauna. And without the roots of the trees that support them, we wouldn't have an earth this beautiful. Thank you so much. Up next, Jamie. Yes, I have here with me Miss Iloilo City, so please pick your hashtag. Good evening, everyone. My hashtag is hashtag storm. Storm is a catastrophic event that is due or caused by climate change. And climate change is one of the many factors that is affecting our planet. That is why as eco-warriors, we should practice a sustainable and an eco-friendly lifestyle. Practice the five R's, and most importantly, plant more trees that are native in our country, the Philippines, so that we can live in a more greener world because there's only one planet Earth. There's no planet B. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Ilo Ilo City, Carla. All right, I, I bet we're gonna hear some big screams here, but up next is Miss Toledo City. Please choose a hashtag. Hashtag heat. One of the factors of heat is the deforestation in our country. The key solution for this is to promote sustainability in our environment, to fulfill the needs of our current generation now without compromising the needs of the future generations to come. By providing alternative solutions, let us all remember that this is our only home and that this is our only earth. And we should learn to take care of it because this is our only home. Thank you. I have with me here Miss Tagig, Vanessa Hudgens look-alike. <laughs> Please take your card. Good evening, Toledo. 
My hashtag is hashtag fruits. If we look at our fauna, fruits are always changing. We can resemble this to humanity. We have moments of wins, and we have moments where we lost our way. And this is why I want to urge everyone to don't wait. Don't wait for a savior, because we are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the ones who should lead our communities. Thank you so much, Miss the Gig. And finally, we have our last, but certainly not the least, oh, second to last, <laughs> Candidate here with me is Miss Puerto Princesa. Now here you go, darling. Hashtag leaves. Leaves are part of the trees and it reminds us a lot of things. From trees, from our environment, we learn a lot of things. From the trees and the leaves, we learn that there are a season for everything. We learn that there's a season to fall, to flourish, and to just stand strong in the middle of whatever we are facing. And as trees, we should stand to save the earth as well. No matter how seasoned, we should start, stand strong and take care of the earth. We learn a lot from our environment, so let's take care of our earth. Thank you. Thank All you right. very much. Uh, back to you, Jamie. Thank you, Carla. Up next, we have Miss San Jose. Nueva is Ija, so pick your card. Good evening, everyone. So my hashtag is Habitat. Our habitat is our Earth, and Earth and the resources of Earth makes life possible in, on it. They are the blessings which we do not count. When all these resources will be under threat, naturally the lives of all living organisms will be under peril. That is why as a catalyst for change, I am encouraging everyone to make actions that will help protect our environment. Because individually, we can make a difference, but our collaborative efforts will create a bigger impact in our community and in our environment. Thank you. Thank you very much, Carla. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 10 points or 10 points of view from very 10 empowered women. My goodness, Jamie, this you brings guys, us back, doesn't it? Oh my God, way Q back for both of us, right? And you know, this time it won't be long before we meet the final five. But first, we'll be handing out some special awards. Keep rooting for your bets as Miss Philippines Earth 2023 will return shortly. Brought to you by Hannah Shampoo and Tilata City Cebu. Maayong adlaw sa tanan. This is Quinzel Daryl Batwigas Alasho, your Miss Philippines Earth, Tungawan, Zamboanga, Sibugay. My advocacy focuses on two relevant topics. That is sustainable tourism and the five R's of zero waste. I want to educate people on the alarming impact of tourism on our local communities, most importantly, the environment and its natural resources. On weekends like this, me and my friends do monthly visits. That is, once or twice actually at the Buluan Island for coastal cleanup. I gather kids, mostly the youth, and educate them on the importance of taking care of Mother Earth. Additionally, Tungawan and the province of Zamboanga, Sibugay is a home to different indigenous people and as a local of this developing community, I am not only advocating for environmental awareness but also cultural preservation. The 
Let us join hands to champion the tourism industry and our cultural heritage, not just in my municipality and province, but the Philippines as a whole. Manuang Aldo de Milginsan and Veronica Salazar Sinahat is Philippines Earth Fix Point. Fix Point is a small and peaceful municipality in the southern Palawan. It is surrounded by lush green forests and crystal clean waters, making it an ideal place for nature lovers and adventure seekers to explore their lives heavenly on agriculture and fishing. The town is known for producing high quality rice, fruits, and vegetables. Wells is the fisherman catch a variety of seafood, just as tuna, lapu lapu, crabs, and lobster. Overall, living in Brooks Point is a wonderful experience. The town may be small and remote, but it is natural beauty, friendly people, and unique culture make it a truly special place. To call home. Our small town has long been embracing the concept of five R's retain, reduce, reuse, recycle, and respect. It is, has been recognized several times for its effort in preserving the environment and promoting sustainable development. One of the initiatives that contribute to groups point recognized as a clean and green municipality is its solid waste management program. The town implemented a comprehensive waste segregation system that encouraged residents to sort their trash and to biodegradable and biodegradable and recyclable materials. Brooks Point has a community-based forest management program that involves the local resident in the protection and rehabilitation of the forest area and rehabilitation of the forest areas. I am Jaira Halakala, Miss Philippines Earth, Jones Isabella. My municipality is an emerging agro-ecotourism destination in Isabella. In fact, there is an ongoing development of an eco-park where fishing, ziplining, and horseback riding can be enjoyed by tourists. What's more exciting? Back here in Toledo. Now, if you still don't have your final five picks, we'll give you more time to make up your mind as we announce the recipients of our special award, starting with the winners of the best in cultural attire. The top three winners were chosen by a special panel of judges that includes Mr. Jeff Tolentino, Mr. Carrie Santiago, and Miss Nellis Pimentel. May we call on Mr. Maynard Bonoan, Hartnett, of SGV and Co for the results. Thank you so much, boss. Thank you. It's Our been very a long reliable time. partner for many years now. I miss that guy. Especially during eviction nights. Okay, here we go. Receiving the bronze medal is. Jones Isabella Jaira Kala Kala. Our presenting the award is City Councilor Pinky Espinoza. Silver Medal Award goes to our lovely delegate from Tungawan, Zamboanga, Sibugay, Quenzel Darrell Alasho. Presenting the award is Miss Philippines Fire 2015 and now the Vice Mayor of Siniloan, Laguna, Honorable Vice Mayor Carla Valderrama.
And the gold medalist best in cultural attire is the Ball of City, Casey Falca Santos. Presenting the award is the Honorable Margie Perales, Mayor of Toledo City. Up next are the top three best eco video winners. Each year, the delegates are asked to submit an eco video which serves as an educational tool for people to know the environmental issues we are all facing. Awareness is key. Now, the winners were chosen by our representatives from Heirs of the World, Balikatan sa Kaunlaran, the Philippine Women's University, and Imus Institute of Science and Technology. Bagging the bronze medal is... Ilo Ilo City! Presenting the award is Honorable Verjito Vactora, the City Mayor of the Municipality of Talakag, Bukidnon. Bringing home the silver medal is... Tagig City! Presenting the award is the Honorable Congressman Jose Manuel Alba, representative of the 1st District of Bukidnon. And the gold medal goes to... Karaskang Surigao del Sur! Presenting the award is the Honorable Marjorie Perales, City Mayor of Toledo City. During the media presentation, our major sponsor, Hannah Shampoo, Bahana Shampoo, a brand committed to providing beautiful, youthful looking hair to every Filipina. They chose 10 Hana Beauties among the delegates. Now, these 10 Hana Beauties exude the essence of Hana, radiating with the confidence of an empowered Filipina with their youthful looking hair on their journey to become their best selves. Now, out of the 10 Hannah Beauties, one delegate stood out based on her performance, environmental advocacy, online votes, and of course, her effortless beauty. And because of that, to receive 50,000 pesos and a year's supply of Hannah shampoo and conditioner, Miss Hannah is... Siniloan Laguna! Presenting the award is Peerless Products Manufacturing Corporation Major Accounts Manager, Ms. Daphne Restauro. And joining her is Mr. Kaloy Bakani. Congratulations to our special awards winners. Yep. Now don't go anywhere because when we return, it's going to be the big reveal of this year's final five. That's coming your way only here on Miss Philippines Earth 2023.
to you by Hana Shampoo and Tilata City Cebu. Mayad nga dlaw kanindong tanan. Welcome to my majestic hometown, Puerto Princesa, where nature begins and never ends. Amos dayon kamo sa among wanwa. True to its tagline, as the city in the forest, Puerto Princesa is like a beautiful rock formation filled with a lush fusion of greens and blues. Our city's natural beauty is well protected not only with the guidance of our city government, but through great discipline instilled in the hearts and minds of every Puerto Princesans. But this is just the beginning. For decades, Puerto Princesa has committed to different tree planting activities, such as the renowned Love Affair with Nature and Pista Iyang Kagiban, aiming the multiplicity of our trees, which preserves both our marine and land biodiversity. By adhering to the five R's, we are dedicated to meeting the Sustainable Development Goals of 2030 by giving access to renewable energy and protecting life on air, land, and water. As we take action to battle climate change, we must rethink, reduce, reuse, recycle, and respect. Princess Verdonia Lazaga from San Jose City, Nueva Ecija. My city is serious in combating climate change and protecting the environment. Over the past years, the local government unit of San Jose City has implemented a 10-year solid waste management plan with the objective of reducing waste and encouraging people to reuse and recycle. Among its implementing rules are banning the use of plastics in consumer trading and mandating waste segregation. Our city has been consistently recognized for our efforts for Manila Bay Cleanup Program. In 2022, we were also recognized for our outstanding composting practices in Region 3. We have a workforce that maintains the cleanliness of our city, ensuring that our waterways are free of trash and unwanted materials. Thus, during rainy season, flooding does not occur. Last year, the City Environment and Natural Resources Office spearheaded the planting of more than 6,000 tree seedlings. Earth and the resources of Earth makes life possible on it. They are the blessings which we do not count. When all these resources will be under threat, naturally, the lives of all living organisms will be under peril. As a catalyst for change, I am encouraging everyone to practice simple methods such as the 5 R's which are reduce, reuse, recycle, rethink, and respect. Because through this, we are not only helping our environment, but we are helping to build a better, greener, and eco-friendly world. As an earth warrior, I am with my city government in protecting the environment. This is Princess Verdonia Lazaga, and I am the woman of the earth. I am Jika Severica Uitingatata, Miss Philippine Sir from the Municipality of San Pascual, Batangas. San Pascual is a first class municipality. It's the center of commercial and agro industrial trade in the province of Batangas. It is likewise considered as a gateway to progress since it only takes around two and a half hours to travel by land from Metro Manila. It has more than 69,000 residents from its 29 barangays. Its LGU has top priorities to ensure sustainability and ecological balance. 
one of which was the adoption of the segregation collection scheme, which enhances waste collection efficiency and reduces the harmful effects of solid waste. Moreover, programs as the conservation and protection of biodiversity and ecosystem, urban greening, waste water, clean water, and flood control are implemented. Seen in the limelight too is the agricultural sector. Measures that innovate and upgrade the sector are also being carried out. Case in point is the support extended to mango farmers. This municipality has an estimated 30,000 mango trees planted on 300 hectares of land. Aside from its succulent fruit, the trees could immensely absorb carbon dioxide that dramatically mitigate global warming. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a proud woman of the year. Ah, it's been a whirlwind of activities from the moment our delegates set foot right here in Toledo City. The sights, the sounds, and of course, the warm hospitality of the people. Yup, these made this trip an adventure of a lifetime. Now here's a look at all the memorable moments that only Toledo City can offer. Watch this. The Center for Clean and Sustainable Power Generation. Competitive trade and industry. Quality education and tourism. In the west coast of Cebu. With a livable, balanced and disaster resilient environment. Through an efficient and transparent governance. With a God-fearing, healthy, joyful and disciplined, vibrant community. Indulge in leisure activities. Feel the dynamic community. Dig into our local cuisines. Catch a glimpse of the sunset. Be astonished by the scenery. Experience joy like no other. This is Miss Jenny Ramp, Miss Philippines Earth 2022 welcomes you to the joyful city, Toledo City. Oh, we love Toledo City. And we will definitely miss Toledo City. And uh, on that note, we'd love to acknowledge and thank the mother of the city of Toledo, who is such a joy to work with. We've got the Honorable Mayor Marjorie Perales. Thank you so much, Mayor. We'll be back soon, for sure. And we'll also love to thank um, the organizing committee headed by Mr. Mario Colmenares. Maraming salamat po, boss. 
for hosting Miss Philippines Earth 2023. Daghang salamat po sa inyong tanan. And making this annual beauty for a cause event possible are no less than our executives at the Carousel Productions, headed by our president, Mr. Ramon Monzon. Our executive vice president, Ms. Lorraine Shook. Our vice president and project director, Ms. Peachy Veneracion. And a big shout out, of course, to the consultants of the Miss Earth Foundation, Miss Catherine Untalana Vital and Miss Karen Ibasco. Thank you so much. And now, on to the thrilling part of our competition. The judges have made their choices, and it's time to reveal the five finalists. Now, the remaining five delegates are automatically this year's runners up, and Angel Santos. Miss Philippines Water 2022 will be handing out the sashes. Mr. Maynard Bonoen, once again, the partner SGV and company, is right here to give us our top five. Thank you so much, boss. Toledo, are you ready? Your top five finalists in random order. Let's do this. First up, please step forward because you're part of our final five. Siniloan Laguna, Eliana Marie, Paduana. They're still in the running. Congratulations. Toledo City, Athena. Auxilio. Please take center stage. Mangatare Pangasinan, Kerry Riley. Joining our queens right now. Congratulations to Puerto Princesa City, Jemima Joy, Zabala. And capping off our list in this year's Final Five is... Congratulations! Filipino community, Melbourne, Australia! Sorry, live orange! Five stellar Earth advocates, one of whom can become the new Miss Philippines Earth. Toledo City, who could she be? Oh, wow. We're hearing different names, of course. We'll answer that question through another question. The final Q&A is up next when we continue after the break. Our top five in this year's Miss Philippines Earth 2023. Brought to you by Hannah Shampoo and E. Cooter Philippines. I am Fermi Zulisilal, Miss Philippines Earth, Zomboanga. 
Bienvenidos a Zamboanga, el orgullo de Mindanao. Aside from being the Asia's Latin city, Zamboanga is prominent for its jaw-dropping sceneries and majestic beaches and islands, and most especially its richness in biodiversity. As a Zamboanganian, I would like to enrich our city's ecological structure by inculcating that green responsibility to everyone, most especially in preserving our forests and trees. In line with our rich and historic culture, our city declared more than 100 heritage and century trees that aims to raise consciousness to preserve and maintain the trees, including bamboo. Bamboo is the fastest growing plant, which is also a great replacement for wood considering its high tensile strength making it one of the imperative factors for ecological sustainability. Truly, trees are vital. Without them, life would be fatal. Environmental protection and harmony among tourism, biodiversity, and development. I envision all of these because I am a woman of the earth. I am a woman of the earth. to Misamis Oriental's town of Lagindingan, one of the country's outstanding coastal community and the gateway to northern Mindanao. We will never run out of things in life to be grateful for, in the depths of the ocean, in the richness of the fields, in the colors of the meadow, in the scent of the flowers, in the secret of the birds the majestic flora and fauna, in the mystery of the universe, in the bountiful of the harvest where we enjoy the stickiness of bikudukot and bitter sweetness of dragon fruit wine, in camaraderie of people embracing each other's differences, working for a common goal, we think, we use, we do, Recycle and respect in the encouragement of the wind as you are climbing to your success in struggles towards victory, in tradition and heritage passed on to generations, in these natural wonders, in friendship, in family, in faith, in God. Discover the amazing secrets rich in nature adventure that you will treasure. Great destination, best for vacation, natural seascapes and landscapes, wonderful sunsets. Experience the best of both worlds in Lagindingan, Miss Samis Oriental. The place I call my home. I am Methosela Senas Villanueva. I am a woman of the earth. I am Iris Mabanta, your Miss Philippines Earth, Mabini, Batangas. And my advocacy is on growing the blue economy. This aims to sustainably use Back here at MPE 2023. Now, how exactly do you pick a winner from these five equally stunning ladies? Tough, no? Well, this could be our determining factor. The final Q&A where the final five will be asked the same question. Each of them will be given 30 seconds to answer and once they hear this sound, that means it's time to wrap things up. And while one delegate answers, the others will be wearing sound-canceling headphones to make sure everything is fair and square. So, headphones on, I can see, okay. And on that note, let's call in our first finalist, Siniloan Laguna. Good evening. All right, are you ready? Okay, he, this is it. The question is, what do you think 
people in the future would say about your generation? Again, the question is, what do you think people in the future would say about your generation? Thank you. I would definitely say that our generation, although misconstrued as very ardent, I would have to say that we use our voice for a reason. And that is to always speak up for the things that we know are right and for the things that we know we deserve. That is why we are very ardent about it. And that is why I'm also conducting colloquiums on the 17 Sustainable Development Goals and their interconnectedness to the nature in hopes to precipitate people's eco-consciousness because our future is the linebackers and the pioneers of environment amelioration and we should always take advantage of it at all costs thank you thank you so much in the lawn laguna speaking up letting her voice be heard this time let's have our toledo city toledo city good evening beautiful smile as always are you ready? Okay. Okay, she is ready. Home turf, by the way. <laughs> the question is, what do you think people in the future would say about your generation? What do you think people in the future would say about your generation? As a person who has the initiative to join this pageant, to make myself environmentally aware, I feel like our generation is the start of change because I believe that our generation has the voice to do our best just to make everything right in the world. As we move to a more advanced and progressive earth, it is our duty as our Thank you. Thank you so much, Toledo City. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it's not easy to be on this stage. So the very fact our queens are here, it's a big feat already. Thank you. Up next, let's go to Mangatare Pangasinan. Good evening. All right. Breathe in, breathe out, you're all set? All right, this is it. The final question is this. What do you think people in the future would say about your generation? What do you think people in the future would say about your generation? In this generation we live in, we have a thing called canceled where we cancel out people. And I kind of want to make a change with that. I want to spread positivity. It's all about being positive and being happy and being genuine. And I feel like, you know, the future should look at us and be like, wow, they did really good. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. All right. We should cancel, cancel culture. All right, be positive all the time. Maraming salamat. This time, let's have Puerto Princesa. Let me help you with that one. All right. Puerto Princesa. Okay, you feel good? Yes, she does. Okay, this is it. Final Q&A is this question. What do you think people in the future would say about your generation? What do you think people in the future would say about your generation? I think that we are the last generation. We should be the last generation to see the disasters, the negative impacts that we have in the environment. We should also be the first generation to make a solution. And I hope that we are the first generation that the next generations will see as the heroes of the earth. Thank you. Thank you so much, Puerto Princesa. All right, thank you. Do you need help going there? Okay, she's all good. Of course, we are the generation who doesn't want disasters to happen on the stage, too. Last but not the least, we got Filipino community, Melbourne, Australia. Good evening. Hello. She feels so confident on the stage. 
You ready? Yes, ready than ever. Re ready ka na ba? Game ka na ba? Yes, game lang. Laban, laban. Okay. Okay. Mapapalaban, laban tayo ngayong gabi. Okay. This is the final question. What do you think people in the future would say about your generation? What do you think people in the future would say about your generation? They would say we are fighters. Because for too long, my generation has had our voices shunned. Especially with the climate, we have had so much anxiety thinking, will we be able to see the world the way it is for its beauty now in the future? And I'd say, those people who look down on us, they will no longer be able to see that we, we truly are fighters. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Filipino community, Melbourne, Australia. Palaban, laban, laban lang. With that answer, ladies and gentlemen, once again, please put your hands together for our final five. Wonderful job, ladies, and of course, best of luck to you. It's actually up to our judges to decide who among these wonderful ladies will be representing the country in the prestigious Miss Earth pageant happening later this year. And get this, the crowning of the new Miss Philippines Earth is up next when we return. Don't go away. Teach her child every golden story. She's the woman of the earth, spreading love and joy, fun and laughter. Woman of the earth, making miracles forever after. Woman of Brought to you by Hannah Shampoo and Ever Belana Cosmetics. Maayong adlaw sa tanan. This is Quinzel Daryl Batwigas Alasho, your Miss Philippines Earth, Tungawan, Zamboanga, Sibugay. My advocacy focuses on two relevant topics, that is, sustainable tourism and the five R's of zero waste. I want to educate people on the alarming impact of tourism on our local communities, most importantly, the environment and its natural resources. On weekends like this, me and my friends do monthly visits. That is, once or twice actually at the Buluan Island for coastal cleanup. I gather kids, mostly the youth, and educate them on the importance of taking care of Mother Earth. Additionally, Tungawan and the province of Zamboanga, Sibugay is a home to different indigenous people and as a local of this developing community, I am not only advocating for environmental awareness, but also cultural preservation. I'm Rowan Marie Snow. Miss Philippines Earth, Kelly Buaklan.
Growing up, I was already aware that our lives depend upon the environment. My favorite childhood memories were always by the sea. From harvesting oysters to fishing with my father, the ocean became my sanctuary. I've been actively involved in Calibus' efforts to promote sustainable waste management by reusing materials, reducing and recycling trash, respecting the environment, and rethinking our lifestyle choices, we can help save the Earth. Mangroves are known as natural barriers that help maintain stable shorelines and shield coastal residents from dangerous waves and storms. Like mangroves, I will always choose to be resilient and unwavering in order to safeguard the interests of those I care about. We receive countless benefits from the environment that we'll never be able to repay. But the best action we can do is to conserve for the benefit of future generations. I'm Rowan Marizno and I am a woman of the earth. They say everything in nature is interconnected. For the past few years, I have witnessed it. And oftentimes I ask myself, how can I convey this message? And how do I make you realize it? In between the plains of Sierra Madre and Laguna de Bay lies my majestic hometown, the waterfall sanctuary that is in Aloan. Our forests and bodies of water nourish the rich biodiversity, agriculture, and livelihood of us in the Loanias. And in turn, these nature's gifts are the same elements that oblige us to be better inhabitants of the earth. Early this year, I proposed a recommendation to our governor and Laguna Pedro, the opportunity to hold an Earth Education Day once a month, where through education for everyone, I will lead and conduct a seminar on sustainability, which covers the five R's. Reclaim, reduce, reuse, recycle, and respect. This is all in the hopes to precipitate people's eco-consciousness to inspire all Lagunenses to take action for our planet. 20 trees in 2023. As part of my initiative on social competence, I have encouraged everyone from children to elderly, barangay officials, families from the most vulnerable sectors, and the LGBTQIA community to plant one coconut tree with me across all 20 barangays of Sinaloa as a symbol of our interconnectedness and commitment to create a greener, more inclusive place to live in. My name is Carrie Riley, representing Panga Therem, Panga Sinan, and here is my story. Growing up, I've always been traveling, enjoying the beauty in each place I went to. However, I lost myself and I had to find myself again and decided to come back to Philippines and grow as a person. Why did I choose to come back to Philippines, you may ask? I saw more than just the beauty, it's the people, the culture, the nature, and I knew this is where I belonged. I was just nine years old when I said, Mommy, I want to spend my birthday in the cancer hospital. And from then, I just kept traveling around Philippines to help the victims from the typhoon Yolanda at the age of 13. It was something really close to my heart that I never really told people about, but it's time to show people me behind closed doors.
screen. Do you see? Mayad nga dlaw kanindong tanan. Welcome to my majestic hometown, Puerto Princesa, where nature begins and never ends. Amos dayon kamo sa among banwa. True to its tagline, as the city in the forest, Puerto Princesa is like a beautiful rock formation filled with a lush fusion of greens and blues. Our city's natural beauty is well protected not only with the guidance of our city government, but through great discipline instilled in the hearts and minds of every Puerto Princesans. But this is just the beginning. For decades, Puerto Princesa has committed to different tree planting activities, such as the renowned Love Affair with Nature and Pista Iyang Kagiban, aiming the multiplicity of our trees, which preserves both our marine and land biodiversity. By adhering to the five R's, we are dedicated to meeting the Sustainable Development Goals of 2030 by giving access to renewable energy and protecting life on air, land, and water. As we take action to battle climate change, we must rethink, reduce, reuse, recycle, and respect. Princess Verdonia Lazaga from San Jose City, Nueva Ecija. My city is serious in combating climate change and protecting the environment. Over the past years, the local government unit of San Jose City has implemented a 10-year solid waste management plan with the objective of reducing waste and encouraging people to reuse and recycle. Among its implementing rules are banning the use of plastics in consumer trading and mandating waste segregation. Our city has been consistently recognized for our efforts for Manila Bay Cleanup Program. In 2022, we were also recognized for our outstanding composing practices in Region 3. We have a workforce that maintains the cleanliness of our city, ensuring that our waterways are free of trash and unwanted materials. Thus, during rainy season, flooding does not occur. Last year, the City Environment and Natural Resources Office spearheaded the planting of more than 6,000 tree seedlings. Earth and the resources of Earth makes life possible on it. They are the blessings which we do not count. When all these resources will be under threat, naturally, the lives of all living organisms will be under peril. As a catalyst for change, I am encouraging everyone to practice simple methods such as the 5 R's which are reduce, reuse, recycle, rethink, and respect. Because through this, we are not only helping our environment, but we are helping to build a better, greener, and eco-friendly world. As an Earth Warrior, I am with my city government in protecting the environment. This is Princess Verdonia Lazaga, and I am the Woman of the Earth. I am Jika Severica Uitimutata, Miss Philippine Sir from the Municipality of San Pascual, Batangas. San Pascual is a first-class municipality. It's the center of commercial and agro-industrial trade in the province of Batangas. It is likewise considered as a gateway to progress since it only takes around two and a half hours to travel by land from Metro Manila. It has more than 69,000 residents from its 29 barangays. Its LGU has top priorities 
to ensure sustainability and ecological balance. One of which was the adoption of the segregation collection scheme, which enhances waste collection efficiency and reduces the harmful effects of solid waste. Moreover, programs as the conservation and protection of biodiversity and ecosystem, urban greening, waste water, clean water, and flood control are implemented. Seen in the limelight too is the agricultural sector. Measures that innovate and upgrade the sector are also being carried out. Case in point is the support extended to mango farmers. This municipality has an estimated 30,000 mango trees planted on a 300 hectare piece of land. Aside from its succulent fruit, the trees could immensely absorb carbon dioxide that dramatically mitigate global warming. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a proud woman of the year. You know, passing on the crown is a bittersweet moment for any beauty queen. And tonight, this remarkable young lady bids us farewell knowing that she has made this gargantuan difference for the pageant's cause. Gracing the stage for the last time as Miss Philippines Earth 2022, we present to you Miss Jenny Ramp. It is time for me to pass my crown as Miss Philippines Earth 2022. A title full of purpose, growth, and surprises, where I was able to advocate the importance of protecting Mother Earth through various projects like tree planting and environmental speeches. I will forever carry this journey of a lifetime with me to my successor. Never lose sight of the importance and true meaning of this title, and may you have a fruitful reign. One last thank you to my team, to my mother, to Carousel Productions, especially to Tita Lorraine and Tita Pichi, and of course to my fellow Carla Canos and Mayor Nora for the chance to carry Santa Ignacia Tarlac's name when I competed. Thank you for the privilege of being your queen. For the last time, this is Jenny Ramp, your Miss Philippines Earth 2022. Jenny, for an amazing year as Miss Philippines Earth, you definitely made us all proud. Oh, definitely. I could uh, remember vividly the coronation night, which happened last year, and it was really a blast. Do you remember your evenings, of course, for Miss Philippines Earth back oh, in 2008, 2014? Definitely, definitely. And we both had iconic reactions when we won the crown. Okay. okay. Should we uh, no, Should we redo it? Okay, one, in three, two, two one. Beautiful reaction. Okay, we'll have workshops later we, we on having the reactions and, uh, and receiving the crown. We have to make sure, girls, smile, okay? Smile Whoever wins, smile. Bask in the moment because this is your night. All right, and again, uh, on behalf of our production, we would love to thank the city of Toledo for the the welcome, the warmest welcome. Daghang salamat sa inyong tanan. Of course, led by their beloved and very hardworking Honorable Marjorie Perales. Daghang salamat, Mayor. 
for being very supportive of not just the pageant itself, but the cause of it. Toledo is very, very good in keeping its sustainability efforts. That's true. And it would be amazing to have it again maybe next year here next in Toledo year. City. Here's us manifesting. Right? Already manifesting. Already manifesting. I'm going to pray the rosary later. Yep. Feel like it's going to happen. Oh, but we you got... know, Robbie, Jamie, we're all gathered here this evening because we're choosing one lucky lady who's going to represent the Philippines. We have to remember that. That's that, true. That's she's true. not just getting crowned tonight. She's going off in about seven months and representing the Philippines and hopefully bringing us our next Miss Earth Crown. Yep. Yes. Lots of uh, words to describe our next queen, but if you were only given this chance, one word to describe what the crown is all about, what would you say? One word. Ito na naman, Q&A okay. na naman tayo. Q&A tayo. Okay, tayo na naman ulit. If I could describe it in one word, it's responsibility. Responsibility for Carla, Jamie. Everything. Wow, everything. <laughs> Tinapos na ang usapan. It's responsibility. It's all right. about keeping your poise, under pressure. So everything talaga. Everything you have talaga. to be the full package. Ayan na, ang dapat tandaan ng ating next queen. This is it. Jamie and Carla, you've both been on this spot before. So you know what it feels like. Yes. Talk about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did. And our um, elemental queens will be crowned by Miss Philippines Water 2022, Angel Santos, together with Miss Nellie's Pimentel and Miss Peachy Veneracion. And the new Miss Philippines Earth will be crowned by none other than our reigning queen, Miss Jenny Rapp, together with our very hardworking leader, Miss Lorraine Shook. Handing us the results last time for the evening is Mr. Maynard Bono and partner SGV and company. Thank you so much, boss. Thank you. The dashing Mr. Bono. <laughs> and with that, let's begin with Miss Philippines Eco Tourism. And. She is Miss Philippines Eco Tourism 2023 is Toledo City Athena Auxilio. Next elemental crown is for Miss Philippines Fire. May I please have the results? Thank you so much. Thank you, Robbie. I don't have the talent of opening envelopes, apparently. <laughs> and Miss Philippines Fire! What do you think it is? It's none other than Filipino community, Melbourne, Australia! Shari Livori! Congratulations! Remain, and the next one is for Miss Philippines Water. Miss Philippines Water 2023 is Miss Puerto Princesa Jemima Joy Zabala.
And with that, the Toledo City goes wild. Well, I can't blame everyone. We're down to our last two ladies. And before anything else, ladies, may we invite you to please take a few steps forward. Ladies, please take a step forward. There we go. Center stage, maraming salamat. And this time, I will be announcing Miss Philippines Earth first, which means the remaining delegate gets the Miss Philippines Air title. Okay, there is no turning back. Mr. Maynard, maraming salamat. Toledo City, let's do this! Our Miss Philippines Earth 2023 is... Siniloa Laguna! Iliana Marie Aduana! Ladies and gentlemen, your elemental court and your Miss Philippines of 2023, Siniloa Laguna, Eliana Marie Aduana. Court, and we wish you a very successful year as Earth Ambassadors. This has truly been another memorable coronation night. Birting guapaha sa ato ang nakadaog karon. Daghang salamat kaayo kaninyong tanan. At daghang salamat sa inyong lahat. On behalf of Miss Carla Henry and Miss Jamie Harrell, thank you so much. This is Robbie Domingo. Daghang salamat to Leto City and to everyone watching. See you again next year. Good night.
Miss Philippines Earth was brought to you by Miss Earth Foundation, Kitco Travel and Tours, and Hannah Shampoo.